Welcome guys, welcome to the channel. We're at Freedom Baptist Church and we're at the cemetery and we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, we have Stephanie R. Ezell Green, March 18, 1967 to January 31st, 1987. Then we have Waylon D. Ezell, November the 4th, 1984 to January 31st, 1987, beloved daughter and grandson. Then we have Nellie, uh, Dalton, uh, 1916 to 1986. We have husband Clifford R. Dalton, 1909 to 1932. We have Clayton V. Cutridge, or Cutright, 1947 to 1980. We have Albert M. Moody, 1941 to 1972. We have James E. Moody, March 26, 1918 to September the 23rd, 1990. And then we have Madeline Moody, looks like June the 11th, 1920 to March the 17th. 1993. All right. Then we have Austin J. Docker. Dockery. Dockery. He was a captain in the U.S. Army, World War II, April the 13th, 1928 to December the 11th, 1976. Then we have Cutright, we have Charles, 1939 to, and we have Thelma, 1931 to, all right. Then we have beloved husband, Austin J. Dockery. Looks like, uh, nine, uh, 18, no, 1928 to 1976, he's a World War II veteran. I forgot my coins. Here we have somebody here. I don't know who. There they are. All right, then we have Rod. George W. July 1849 to May the 29th. I mean, May the 29th. May 1929. And Roseanne. July 19, uh, 1863 to February 1934. I don't think I can talk today. Here we have Rebecca Henson to child, August 18th, 1974. Then we have Bill, Bill, Otis Oin, October 1888 to May 1952. Then we have Ida M. Bill, the wife of Elmer McCoy, McElroy, uh, 1892 to 1917. I'll get on the ball here in a minute. Here's Daniel Nichols. Looks like 1835 to 1928. He's a veteran of the, of the Civil War. Then we have Gray. It's going to be James. 1855 to 1928. And it's going to be Edith E. 1866 to 1948. He's a Civil War veteran. There's Rami J. Ray, uh, Gray. November the 11th, 1900 to March the 20th, 1967. Then we have George Gray. 1897 to 1955. Then we have George Harrison, 1902 to 1916. Then we have James Bentley, died January 2nd, 1866. Then we have Sarah something. 
I don't know what her last name is. I can't make it out. It looks like she died February the 8th, 1881. On that stone. And she's the only one that's on that stone. So that makes it easy. We just move on. Can't read that one. So we'll move on to the next one. This one looks like they might have died January 1876, maybe. Uh, it's Isaac. It looks like R Ralston or something like that on that one. This one here is completely gone. Either side you can't read. This one here, you ain't gonna be able to read nothing on it. So it moves on over here to this one. And it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be able to read nothing on this one, I don't believe. Except it's Ida M. Uh, I don't see much you can see on that one either, on Charlie here. Poor Charlie. Don't look like you can read him. All right. Believe it or not, I got my shoes on today. For a little while, anyways. Probably won't stay, but I got them on right now. Yeah, let's see who we got here. We got a, another unreadable stone. So that's another begotten. Or forgotten, I mean. And here's another one. Right here. It's going to be forgotten. And we have this one. We might get a little bit of something off of there. Well, no, not really. Huh. Are there? Hmm. 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 Nothing over here either. Hmm. Be in the church cemetery right next to the church. That's the other side. But that's his infant. I put the top. That's all I see. All right. We'll move on, see who we get. Maybe there'll be somebody here. I don't know. This is going to be David. I don't know that last name, though. Anyways, David died August. The first, 1877, on this stone. And it looks like to be the biggest one in this little cemetery. Surely does. That's all we're gonna get off him. And we got a broken one. Probably no way to tell who it is. Oh no. Nope, that's another begotten, or forgotten I mean. All right. That's fine, we'll move on. Here we have. Rod again. We got Don Floyd, 1874 to 1950. Mabel Good, 1889 to 1923. And Leanne May, 1882 to 1915. Then we have Shuttle in Bargner. Bargner. An infant girl, 1919, and Marion, 11 2, 21, to 11 27, 22, and Lucy, 6 27, 22. All right. Then we have that Schuttenberger again, or whatever, Elmer. He's the son of Clyde and Nora, 1931 to 1976. Then we got Shuttleburg again. We got Clyde, 1887 to 1947. And Nora, 1891 to 
her log, her logs, or something like that. We have Mathis, 1894 to 1971, and Stella, 1923 to 1989, and John, 1905 to 1950. All right, guys. Let's see who this is. This is going to be a veteran over here. We got a Mr. Veteran here. We got a John Nichols. Nicholson. John W. 1846 to 1895. And Melissa. 1856 to 1891. And Martha. 1890 to 1891. On that stone right there, guys. And he is a veteran of the Civil War. Then we have Glenn. 1880 to 1899 and Michael 1846 to 1916 and Lovina something like that 1848 to 1917 and her last name is Oswald or something like that all right let's see who we got here probably ain't gonna be able to see these two. Oh no no neither one of them all right, so we'll move on. And we have a Grove, Grover. He's the son of M&L Oswald. 1887 to 1889. Child. Another child. See a lot of kids that bother you. Here's another child. I think I'm going to read it. But there it is, guys. All right, here's the next one. It's uh, Santi, Isaac Santi, 1808, or 1803, I mean, to 1888, and Catherine, 1808 to 1890, and that's down right there. Then we have Morrison. We have David S. Morrison, January the 14th, 1852. To March the 18th, 1925. We have Rebecca, his wife, April the 22nd, 1852, to December the 3rd, 1903. And we have we have Nathan Dresser, died December the 3rd, 1891. He was 71 years, 2 months, and 23 days. Then we have Carlene, the wife of uh, Dresser over there. She died in, looks like 1861. Uh, I can't really tell her age and stuff, but it's right there, guys. All right. Next one's going to be unreadable, I believe. It's going to be a John. That's all I can see is the name John on this phone. Then we have Lydia. She's the wife of Nathan Dresser, 1841 to 1908. Then we have, oh, nobody on that one we can tell. Nobody on that one. So it takes us up to here. And that's going to be Elgin Dresser, 1874 to 1922. Then it's going to be Cora B. Dresser, 1870 to 1931. Then it's going to be Jane Elza Dresser, 1859 to 1933. All right. Then it's going to be, wow, completely gone. That's insane. Then we have this one. They died in 1861. It's a Sarah, I think. That's all I can tell about it. And then this one here, I don't have a clue on. But there it is. That one's ate up by something bad. All right. Then we have 
Nelly R. Brio, 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 Brio. 1901 to 1921. Albert Henry, March 1891 to January 1943. And Carrie Grace, October 1901 to April 1981. Then we have Roth, Stanley P, November 27, 1896 to March 8, 1964. I got a goat. Or a sheep. I guess it's sheep that goes bad, not goats. I know my animal's good, don't I? Can't see nothing on either one of those. Here's our last one. It's another Mary. But that's all I can tell, except Mary died in 1865 down there. That's it. Mary's about gone and forgotten. All right. Here's another one. Gone and forgotten. That's what I keep saying. Gone and forgotten. More gone and more forgotten. Then we have Thomas Cotran. August the 6th, 1952 to February the 21st, 1994. You can at least read that one. Looks like they might be burning some new people here. In the cemetery. So we ain't gonna land on them. And if these are newer, we won't do them at all. I don't know who mows the grass here, but they really suck at mowing. So they blowed it right on the stones. And that ain't good. Here's Lyle Chester, April the 5th, 1937, February 2nd, 2014, and Frida, May the 24th, 1938. Then we have Angie. She got married September 20th, uh, 20th 1963. To, uh, it's Lancy Jr., September 28th, 1935, to January 18th, 2013, and Brenda Kay. June the 10th, 1945. Oh, this one's cool. That's pretty cool. Looks like they painted their own design on a stone that you can't read. But the rocks, very awesome. That looks pretty neat, actually. It's gonna be Trudy L. Court, November the 3rd, 1948, to October the 14th, 2012. Oh man, them lilacs smell pretty. Then we have, I don't know that last name. And I don't know when Michael died. I mean, when he was born, but he died in 2008. And Tracy, well, she's still alive. Or he's still alive, whichever. Then you got that last name again. Reverend Donald Edward, June 17th, 1939, to April the 11th, 2008. And you got Polly Rebecca. Rebecca. January 10th, 1943, and they were married January 28th, 1961. Then you got Thomas, that same last name. Cumberledge, Cumberledge, I believe. That's how you pronounce that. Anyways, that's Thomas, 1949, 2008, and Faith, 1950, and they're in God's car. Then you got Dunn, you got Jerry W. Dunn, 1954. Then you got Melva, 1956 to 2005. And they got eternal love. Then you have Cutridge, or Cutright, Cutright. You got Carl, 1931 to 2011. And I want to say, I have no idea what her name is. Without moving S. Retta. 
Greta's 1934 to 2011. There's a picture of them. And that's the cut rights. Then we got Perry. We got Clifford. May the 17th, 1940. And Karen, July the 8th, 1945. And January the 15th, 2000 is when they got married. Lamb's Book of Life. And there's their picture right there. All right, guys. Let's see who this is. This is Mora. It's going to be Abervale, December the 16th, 1934, and James, May the 11th, 1951, to May the 22nd, 2005. Then we got Donna Gailey Mullins Rolling or Browning. May the 23rd, 1936 to April 22nd, 2006. Then you got Laney Boogans or something like that. Looks like he was born in 1917 and died in 1999. We'll meet again in love and memory. All right. Then you got Peterson. You got, I don't know, Eladine, 1934 to 1993. Then you got Peterson again. You got William T. Jr., 1961 to 1996. Then you got, Wanda, I think, Bunch. She's a be beloved grandmother, but no date. Oh, there it is. She's back in the bushes. Here's Wanda Bunch, September the 11th, 1937 to January the 18th, 1991. She's a beloved wife and mother. Then you have Billy R. Sounders, September the 18th, 1934, to April the 1st, 1988, in God's loving care. All right, let's see who else we got. We got two more stones right here, guys, and then in this one. This one we don't know because they got it chunked over here in the bushes. Right there. I don't know on him. And this one here is unreadable. So another unknown person in this vast world of uh, cemetery stones with nothing you can read on them. It's sad. But anyways, guys, that's going to end it here at this Baptist Church Cemetery. Uh, I'm not sure exactly who takes care of it. I'm sure the church does itself. But yeah, this is it. So it's gonna be a wrap it up and move out. So I appreciate you watching. If you subscribe to the channel, hit that like button for me. And if you're not, please share, like, and subscribe. But we appreciate you watching. And Freedom Baptist Church Cemetery, we are done. Peace. We're out of this one.